my answer is you said should they be liable the current law is they will be liable you know in the year 2019 and precisely on 20th july 2020 new consumer act came into force which was passed in 2019 and a central consumer protection authority was uh, made where central consumer Pro uh, protection authority which we call ccpa has the power to even take suo moto action there is a specific section section 89 in the new act which says what is a misleading advertisement because this has a journal risk a health risk to okay. the people to the public i will just take one minute even ccp has the authority not only to ask them to stop this kind of videos or advertisements but also impose fine up to the tune of 10 lakh rupees so law is this okay rish has said the moral responsibility is also important and people are not fool even these officers which are sitting there they are not fool that you show something and sell something this is what is happening and the, right. there is there, so right. there is a very clear cut proposition law is very clear on it the current law is very clear Now to our special focus this evening should celebrities and influencers be responsible for the products they endorse especially when it comes to products that are declared injurious to health like uh, tobacco or even alcohol even if the advertisements are surrogate should celebrities who endorse these products be held responsible it's not a new question but the debate around it has come back to the spotlight after the central consumer protection authority told the allahabad high court that it had issued notices to bollywood superstar sharukh khan Akshay Kumar and Ajay Devgan regarding their appearance in surrogate ads for a good car brand the center's response was on a contempt petition before the Allahabad High Court the original petition was to question how stars including Padma Awardees can be allowed to endorse good car brands the court was also informed that Amitabh Bachchan had sent a legal notice to a good car company which featured his advertisements despite a cancellation of the contract by the star As this case plays out we take a broader question this evening should stars be held responsible for the products they advertise joining me this uh, evening brand guru from Bengaluru Harish Bijur thanks so much for being here Harish also consumer lawyer Sanjay K Chadda joins us first to you Harish should celebrities be held responsible for brands they advertise especially if it's brands which are of of products which are injurious to health well at the outset i'd say that you know a celebrity must be held uh, you know because the liability rests with the brand endorser uh, and therefore you know whether it's a good product a bad product a ugly product the celebrity is totally totally responsible now when it comes to something of an addictive nature my typical advice to a celebrity is don't advertise or don't promote this because anything that is addictive is an at any cost kind of an addiction kind of a product it's at the cost of money it's at the cost of health it's at the cost of family it's at the cost of relationships so just don't advertise categories which are socially ostracized and which are socially harmful right sanjay you left on mute my, yourself yeah i have done so i have done so now my answer is you said should they be liable the current law is they will be liable you know in the year 2019 and precisely on 20th july 2020 new consumer act came into force which was passed in 2019 and a central consumer protection authority was uh, made where central consumer Pro uh, protection authority which we call ccpa has the power to even take suo moto action there is a specific section section 89 in the new act which says what is a misleading advertisement because this has a journal risk a health risk to okay. the people to the public i will just take one minute 
even ccp has the authority not only to ask them to stop this kind of videos or advertisements but also impose fine up to the tune of 10 lakh rupees so law is this okay 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 that's that's a fair point you're making harish i want to just quickly ask you this where should the extent of liability stop uh you know the liability certainly rests with the brand endorser because you know it is his her or their front face uh, which is uh, luring uh, consumers to get in uh, so the actor or the brand endorser is the bait and uh, therefore the bait is certainly liable the second step of liability rests with of course possibly the company which actually uh, you know gets these brand endorsers to sign on the dotted line and say that hey you're doing a surrogate piece of advertising so i think there is a lack of ethics in that and the company is definitely definitely liable the third phase which is you know a slightly distant liability is with the advertising agency because at the end of the day it's this advertising agency that puts together the entire creative and it knows very well that this piece uh, that i'm advertising is totally a surrogate brand it has a real brand somewhere and that real brand causes harm so i would rope in all three together right. and i would really urge uh, you know marketers to get that much more responsible and certainly our film actors of every kind to get that much more responsible than ever before okay so there's also the question of moral responsibility quick 10 second final word from you sanjay if you can hear me well what harish has said the moral responsibility is also important and people are not fool even these officials which are sitting there they are not fool that you show something and sell something this is what is happening and the, right. there is there, so right. there is a very clear cut proposition law is very clear on it the current law is very clear All right that's an important point that you make there a firm point that you've made there both of you uh, thank you for joining us as we discuss stars and celebrities endorsing products there is one star who refused to endorse any brand since the late 1980s and that's the superstar of Tamil cinema Rajinikanth he took a call uh, apparently reportedly not to endorse brands because of products that could be harmful to people and misuse of his Stardom, be that as it may, Rajni Khan is celebrating his 73rd birthday today. Several celebrities and fans took to social media to wish him on this special day, though it's a low-key affair in Chennai, which is recovering from that massive flooding. Wishes, though, came in from his Japanese fans in Osaka, and we leave you with this happy birthday message to the one and only superstar of Tamil stardom.